Okay, get comfortable because this motherfucking vlog is long. Okay. Did the 16 hour shift. Ah. I just did a 16 hour shift. Girl, nigga, hair done. Knocked it out. I had the most amazing boss in the fucking world, y'all. My boss sat here and brought me and my crew a shitload of pizza. And I am sitting here because I don't have to walk home no more, you guys. I used to walk home every, I've been working every day since I first got this job. And I get off at 11 o'clock. And my boss such amazing and the work I do is so awesome that she scheduled me an Uber to take me home because she don't want me walking home at night and in the morning she comes and pick me up when um like they need extras or something like that all she gotta do is just call me and she picks me up I'm so I'm so lucky <laughs> Oh my God, I have not had a day off, and the only day that I have off is the 12th, the 12th and the 25th of December, I mean of October, they're my only days off, I'm loving it, oh yeah, I passed my med tech class, yay, yay, <laughs> who broke their phone though, earlier, <laughs> That bitch correct. The North My first time having Chipotle. What? I had Chipotle for the first time and it was actually really, really good. I keep messing with this one resident. What you used to do back in the day, Margo? <laughs> good. My stomach's turned though a little bit. I said I wasn't going to vlog, but today has been a really bad day. First, I woke up this morning and they said that I had um, tested positive on my drug test for something. So yeah, I freaked out all day. What you used to do back in the day? Nothing. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me, Mark? Why? What? You, you ain't helping me. I am helping you. I, I just I gave her a shower. I, I put two blankets on her. What word? Right there. That white blanket. That yellow blanket. Look, Margot. This blanket. And this blanket. Can you take a shower? Welcome to McDonald's. Oh, you take a shower in the cold. Yeah, my pants lid cold. What? You gave me a shower? Yeah, y'all remember me giving you a shower? Two of y'all, but I don't know which one was which. Your other blankets in the wash. I'm washing your other blankets. I love this company. <laughs> we was like, we was all right, no. I, um, I love this company. Because it's like one on one with everybody. Like I'm washing her blankets and stuff. So she can have them warm when I leave. Right, Margo? You can have your blankets warm. Fresh out the dryer when before I leave, right? Before you leave. Yeah. What what happens before you leave? I'ma put your blankets back on. I'ma put your blankets, the ones I'm washing right now. Well, they've been watching a long time. Oh, baby, you got a minute. You got a minute. The dryer takes an hour. Yeah. So around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, I'll put them back on. So what you used to do back in the day? <laughs> My God. Margo mess with me all day, but when I come in here and mess with her, she don't want she she mad at me like I'm not talking to you.
<laughs> that ain't even what I said. And it go up. Oh. If them people just do their job over there, everybody will be good. I don't know if y'all seen the last vlog. But I was like, I look at this page. Page. A thousand times a day. Because of that one side. Because the building split up in two. Got our side and got their side. Our side runs smooth all the time. We know our people. They said buzz all the time. Margo, I'm finna do a walkthrough. I'll be back, okay? I know, I know you'll be back. You don't want me to come back? I don't believe you're coming back. Margo, you don't believe you're coming back? No. Why? I don't know. I just don't. You want me to stay and talk to you some more? Yeah. But she just was mad at me. <laughs> Tell me what you used to do back in the day. I want to know. I told you. Nothing. How many times I tell you nothing? <laughs> what, you a housewife? No. How many kids you got, Marco? Two. Two boys? No. Two girls? No. Do you? I know we ain't finna watch football. You want me to change the channel? What? Do you want to watch football? No. Let's change the channel, man. Oh! Every time I watch football, I think about, uh, you know who. That number. Cut the TV off, You want to go to sleep? Yeah. It's only 7.30, Margo. I don't care what time it is. I don't know how I feel. Well, if you going to sleep, I'm leaving you, boo. Well, you gonna leave anyway. I was gonna leave. I was gonna sit back in the chair and chill with you. Well, put it, put the TV back on. <laughs> I thought you was going to sleep, Margo. <laughs> I'm gonna chill with you. You ain't gotta leave the TV. I ain't got my blankets. <laughs> Your blankets in the washing machine. That's what I know. I'm gonna get them out. I can't go to sleep so I go. Margo nails be as long as my nails. Ain't that right, boo? Hmm. You was a homemaker, wasn't you, Margo? You look like you can bake some pies. You can't look and tell nothing. I can't look and tell nothing about you. Yes, you can. You can see I used to be fat. Look at my arm, Margo. You see my fat waist. <laughs> uh, I see my little form. I wear a size small in pants. What? Small. I'm going to show y'all when I get home. I get dry. Not yet. There will be. You want me to go check on them? I'd like to know. You want me to go check on them? If that I, mean I got to leave, though, Marco? I know you have to leave. I also going to get them. <laughs> okay. But you get mad when I leave. You get mad when I leave. What's wrong? Marco's sitting here buggled. Up, <laughs> I can't put them on. I can't turn it around at all. But y'all can hear. Margo, tell me a story. I don't know. I, I'm. I ain't in no mood for nothing. So what? You just want me to sit here with you? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> really, it's okay. <laughs> I gotta go do rounds right quick. I'll be back. Wait a minute. <laughs> Please, cut the TV. Oh, it's off. I turned it off for you. And, 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 do you know how to fix that door so it won't come back open itself? Yeah, look. I know it's up. It's open, and I've been sitting here a minute. Yeah, I'm okay. I put that, um... I'm, I'm scared. I put the, um... 
that blue thing, the, the hamper on the door for it won't close, okay? So you can see me walking back and forth. Well, that's why I want the door open. Okay. So I can see people and that make me not so scared. Okay. If I can't see nobody, I get scared. I know. I'm going to come back and check on you, okay? Okay. All right. Hello, beautiful people. I am off work. I am at home. It is. 136 in the morning. <laughs> Yo, son. I hate being here. <laughs> I literally hate being at home. I hate being here. Like, I hate being here. Okay. I miss having a relationship. I miss coming home to somebody when I get off work. Like, you know, back, back, back in the day, um, before six, before this apartment, before anything, I used to, um, here, let's turn it down. I don't even think I got the mobile patrol over here. I don't. But before, you know, six, before anything like that, back in the day, I used to work in a nursing home. And I used to, I was in a relationship. I was in a really good relationship. And I used to come home and be so happy because I used to come home to my honey and just, you know, it was like, hey, honey, and... How was your day? And, you know, hugs and kisses and movies and dinner. And I just, I miss all that. I really miss that. Um, it's just being here, I come home alone to an empty, clean house. Lately, I've been getting my shit together where before I go to work, I clean the fuck out the house and I go to work. I come home from work and I tear the house up and go to sleep. Don't ask me how. I just I tear it up. <laughs> like, seriously. And I just miss being with somebody and I don't want just anybody I don't want just like this random person I don't want to be a one night stand I don't want to be a sad bitch I want to be a wife a mother I want to be I don't know no I do know I want to be a wife a mother, a worker, and just strong. And we all know I get what I want. <laughs> I, I work so much, y'all. Let me tell y'all. I want a car. Only 12. Because that's my only off day. So, for the last couple of days, I've been having my mom and my dad go look at cars. Test drive. I had my mama find the car. I had my dad go test drive the car and take pictures of the car. And just let me know. They said, um, I gave them a price range of how much I want to spend. And... I kind of gave them certain cars that I possibly want. And so far, my mom's not hitting none of them at all, whatsoever. So, I've been having them do that. And then I've also been having um, them look for, I keep calling it a townhouse. My mom call it an apart apartment. I want an apartment, two bedrooms, upstairs, downstairs, washing machine and dryer, dishwasher, and hardware floors. <laughs> 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 
Ah, uh, so I've been having mama look for that, and mama like that's just easy. That's the easy part. We can do that in you know December. We can start doing that in December. So we are gonna start doing that in December. But I wanna have like you know I wanna be able to go look at it, see if I like it, do it feel like home, squatty, squatty, squatty. In the back of my head, I'm thinking like you know what. Well, I get so depressed when I'm here is because I don't know why, but when I go through these relationships, I always end up with, I always go through these relationships. I get into the relationship and, you know, I be all happy, da 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 da, da like all picture perfect. And then when I break up with that person, like truly break up with that person, walk away, like I'm done, I'm finished, like it's over. I move. And then I start this whole new life over. I don't know why. I do not know why. I do not know why. 20 days. Time is going by so fast when you're working. It's like I'm finally over that number. I'm finally done. I'm finally washing my hands. Like today was the day that I actually finally realized, okay, it don't matter how much you love somebody. If they don't love you back, it's time to drop a motherfucker. For real. You can't make nobody love you who don't love they self. And a big part of me thinks that since I started getting sober and getting my mind together and working and doing what I'm supposed to do, it made him, I don't know. So, now that we're done and we actually washed our hands and dried them off and we starting fresh, it's like I got this new job. I have this new set mind. I'm actually seeing things clearly, y'all. Like, I am focused and I can see everything clearly. I know what I want and I can get what I want. And it's like, I want that... I miss that relationship. I miss that love. I miss that. I don't know. I just miss that that feeling that I had coming home and, you know, doing stuff with my partner or whoever. If I could take, and I'm sorry, I'm giving out names now. If I could take Vanna. And six. And blend them two together. <laughs> and make one person. Oh my God. Marriage done. Like I will be the best wife in the fucking world. <laughs> Look, you gotta mix a nigga and a nigga and a woman together to make one perfect person. But it's somebody out there for me. But it's just like I don't, I don't want to be at home by myself. Then I'm like, I'm gonna get a dog. <laughs> I want a dog so bad named Bella Octavia Lewis. <laughs> I want a little bitty, like, little bitty puppy dog. And I can get one, but it's like, don't, I can't get a dog because, one, I work too much. I work too much. So I'm going to try to get a dog in November because I'm not doing any overtime. I'm not doing any, you know, anything like that. No overtime. I'm just doing a regular shift. No extra days. None of that. Because I want to see how my check will be without me doing any overtime, any extras, anything like that. Um, and just see how I feel like that. Uh, I did tell y'all about my test, uh, about my drug test coming back being positive. It wasn't positive because I was doing drugs or anything like that. It was positive because 
I was taking a detox medicine that helps you stop shaking. To help y'all know how, if y'all been watching the vlogs a minute, I know it's like four of y'all that been watching, four or five of y'all have been watching the vlogs from the beginning. And I used to shake all the time. Like, hi. Like that. It stops you from shaking. It stops you from having withdrawals. It's not a, it's a drug. But it's a drug to help you stop using drugs. And it was in my system. It was called Librium. And Oxamazina. Something like that. But I took it in to my boss. Gave her every paperwork from, you know, um, the detox center and... My pharmacist and everything like that. And they just was like, we wasn't drug testing you for that. We was drug testing you for hard drugs or drugs, period. That's not a drug. Like, you're okay. <laughs> and it made me feel so good. Like, uh, But I still was so happy because I told them. You know the truth. I set them both down. And they was more. Oh my God. What freaked me out was. I was like. Um, I went to the big dog. And I was like. Hey can I talk to you. And then. No I went to the. the her. The, okay. I went to the lady. Under the big dog. And I was like. I got something to tell you. And the first thing out her mouth was. Please do not tell me you quitting. Please. And I was like, no. She was like, what is it? Do we got something to do with the job? I was like, yeah. I'm not quitting, but I don't know if y'all gonna keep me. And she was just like... And she got up and went to the um, big dog office. Because her door was closed. And when her door closed, that means she's like in a meeting or something like that. And, you know... She knocked on the door and she went in and I heard her say my name and was like, she needs to talk to us. And my boss was in a meeting, literally sitting there in a meeting with like a family. I don't know what she was doing. I don't know who they was, but it was like some people in there. And she came out and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, you got, you know, it is, it's important, but it's not that important where you can stop. She was like, anything you say, like, is important. Tell me you're not leaving. Are you, are you quitting? You're not quitting, are you? And I was like, no, I'm not quitting. But I was like, I need. I pulled, her to the side. I pulled both of them to the side. And I was like, my drug test came back positive. And she was like, for what? And I was like, I showed her the paper because I had wrote the names down. And she was like, this is a detox medicine. We're not looking for a detox medicine. <laughs> I was like, but it came up positive in my system because they called me this morning at, what, 8.30 in the morning and was like, hey, you got 24 hours to get this in or we're going to send this over to your boss. And I wanted to tell y'all before anything that I am a recovering alcoholic and I don't want no problems. I go to AA meeting, hang on my keychains, key, key hang on my coin. I just got my coin like a week ago, Can you know, like... I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. If I'm not here, I'm in a meeting. If I'm not in a meeting, I'm at home, sleep, or I'm at church. And normally, tell when I go to church, I get out of church and I come here. And she's like, "Is that why you do so many hours?" I was like, "I'll be bored and depressed and lonely at home, so I'd rather be here, hanging out with my residents." And my boss just was like, she was so, it just, you could see the release on her face, like, the big dog. She was like, ugh. And then a lady under her was like, give me a hug. Like, you are so strong. Like, I am so proud of you. And that made me proud of myself. She was like, I am so proud of you. And she gave me a hug. And she was like, um, did you have to catch the bus today? I'm like, yeah. And she was like, okay. And she went on about her business. And then the big dog, she 
gave me the tightest hug ever. And she gave me a kiss and she was like, do not scare me like that. <laughs> Again. I was like, scare you? I've been on the bus all day trying to get paperwork and this and that. And she was like, you should have just called me. I keep telling you, call me, call me, call me. And she was like, you should have called me before you did all that. And I would have told you, it's okay. Like, it's okay. She was like, but I am proud of you. And you are very strong. And she gave me a hug and gave me a kiss. And I had gra I had grabbed my pager, because you get a pager when you come in. And I grabbed my pager. And I was like, um... I got to get on the floor because I'm like five minutes late and I need to get on the floor because it's time to rock and roll. And she was like, okay. <laughs> she was like, okay. But I need you to come back up here before I leave. And she gave me a hug and a kiss and I left. And like two hours later, she came back and she was like, so your Uber will be here <laughs> at 11 o'clock. I was like, you were... You got me an Uber again. She's like, yes, I don't want you walking out here. Something happened to you. No, 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 no. And she was like, oh, yeah. Your Chipotle in the back. Like, what? <laughs> She's like, I brought you some Chipotle. Eat the Chipotle. I was like, I am. I'm going to eat it. And she's like, oh, yeah, and I brought you a juice, too. And tell the kid I got her something, too. Like, okay. <laughs> Other day she brought pizza for us. Like, she always banned us food. I don't know why. I think she think I'm too skinny. <laughs> but she's the most sweetest lady in the world. And I just, I am so blessed. I got exactly what I asked for. And I, I you know what? I pray every single night. Well, I used to pray every single night when I have my candles. I like this. I light a candle, sit, do my meditation and everything like that. And on there, it was saying that, oh my God, it's so crazy because on there, it was saying like, I want a job working in a nursing home or a hospital or somewhere clean making this amount of money an hour doing something I am great at and it just exactly that is exactly what I wrote down before I even was looking for a job so that whole paragraph that I wrote out done and I'm freaking out right now my man because I'm actually thinking about it like it's exactly what I put down I put down the exact amount how much I wanted to bring in and it's there. So that's crazy. So I'm like, okay. What was the next one? <gasps> that one's there too. Why am I, I, I want to learn more about alcoholism and understand it. And I do now. So that's cross though. It's just like, oh my God, are you serious? Everything I ask for is coming true. So if I want to be somebody's motherfucking wife, bomb ass wife, who love her husband unconditionally, I am. Or whoever God brings to me, I'm going to treat exactly how they treat me. And I am so ready. And I just can't believe I just sat here and realized, talking to y'all, my people, <laughs> that them two came true exactly. Because once I got the raise from passing the test, I'm, I passed the test. It wasn't even shit. Kid, that's my girl. She... She schools me all the time, so she was schooling me, and me and her was going back and forth. That's my girl. I love that girl. She's amazing. She good as hell. She like book smart, and I'm hands on smart, and like that's what's up. We work so good as a team. 
Like, we work good. Our side be flowing. Like, our side is awesome. That's why we get treated better. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything I'm asking for is coming true. Now I want to get up and go get the book. I mean, go get that paper. And see what's coming up next. Actually, we're going to go get that paper. Hold on. Okay, listen. Um, okay, listen to this. Cause this is going to freak y'all. This is something I was just like, I didn't ask God for. I did not ask God for this. At all. Only thing I had, I don't ask God for anything at all whatsoever, okay? I don't ask him for nothing. I don't say, please do this, Lord, do this. Lord. No. The only thing I ask, and I know a lot of people don't believe in God and all that stuff, but I do. So that's just my preference. But I don't ask him for anything. When I go to church, I don't sit there and be like, you know, Lord, do this and do that, do that, do this. No. I always say to God, thank you for waking me up. And thank you for, you know, I thank him. I don't ask him for anything. I think he can, I don't ask him for anything. But I all, I also be like, my gods and my goddesses up there. Because you don't know who else is up there. God may have somebody else. God might have, you know. Somebody with him. You don't know. But I always be like, my God to my goddess. I come to you to ask you. And this was the first thing I put, right? Listen, y'all. To find and keep a new love. Who treat me like a princess. Who love me for me and all of me. The good and the bad. Who will help me grow as a woman. Who will help me in my time of need. Who got their own car, job. Home, money is nothing over 45 to have 20 to 50 thousand dollars to pay off all bills buy a good new or looking trailer because I wanted the trailer but now we're going mm -mm. Uh, two bedrooms two bathrooms with a big tub that I can live in for many years a good yeah, a good car to get me around every day. A dog that my allergies will not act up with or will not make me sick. Black, little. All black or all white, little. And to pay off school and have money saved away. Then I'm back again. A good paying job that I love working. From 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, making over blank, blank, blank. Inside a hospital, nursing home, or something like that. Then I have to not get drunk or high. To learn more about alcohol in the 12 steps. To find one group that I can put all my all in. So instead of me going to A-A-N-N-A, -A -N -N -A, I just wanted to find one group. But I, I think, like I said today, bro, well, like I said yesterday, I had said that uh, N-A and A-A, -A, we all alike. Alcohol is a drug. It is a drug. We all in one coffee put, cup mixed together, making some bomb coffee. And at that time, I wanted a coffee. Which I have not had. I haven't had a coffee since the last time I talked to y'all. And then it says, last but not least, to have a good and help to be in good health and keep the weight off. To never go over 169 pounds, even when I, and after I have all two or three of my babies. Just a big belly <laughs> that my honey loves taking pictures of and talking to and playing with. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I wrote that. Oh my god, I should have wrote a date on this. This was so long ago, and I still, oh my goodness. 
This was like after rehab. Like, dude. And so far, the job came true. The alcohol, learning about the alcohol and not getting drunk or high, came true. So, what's next? To find and keep a new love who will love, who will treat me like a princess. Yay! Or are we gonna get this two bedroom townhouse? So that's just all real. But I can't wait to see what's next. I'm excited. But that's how. I'm feeling right now. I can't wait till tomorrow because I'm going to get my ass up. I'm going to take $2. I'm going to go. <laughs> We're going to get back on our routine. Like I still, I have a routine, but, you know, I started slacking. No more slacking. I still go to my meetings. Still go to my meetings. Um... Sunday will be the first time that I miss church. Sunday will be the first time since I said I want to be clean. It's the first time that I will miss church. Like I've been in church every day since I've been clean. Well, every Sunday since I've been clean. And this will be the first time. But I'm going to make it up because I'm going to church. I'm going to go to church that following Sunday. So, yeah. I'm going to go buy me a candle tomorrow. A little, I'm not going to buy my little $10 candles. <laughs> I ain't going to buy a little $5 candle, no. I'm going to get me a little dollar store candle. My seven-day dollar store candle. And I'm addressing myself and blessing myself and continue to start reading my stuff and get back into meditating in the morning. I just got to start getting up a little bit earlier because I get up, clean up, and either try to make it to an AA or an NA meeting and be out the door and then be out the door by 11 o'clock and then go to work and then I'm home you know about like 12 but lately I've been home by 11 16 since my, my boss been having me with an Uber <laughs> so yeah this is a very long vlog <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it